morning. Eternal Rock of Ages, we acknowledge your supremacy. We thank you for what you have been able to do. We thank you for the teaching of the Sunday school. We pray, Father, that we will not be the hearers alone, but we shall be the doer of your word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Almighty. At the end of the day, this word shall not stand against us on the day of judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's begin to thank God for his faithfulness, his kindness, his love, his protection, everything he has done for us, from seeing us from last year, making us see the new year, let's begin to appreciate his name and his name. Lord, I lift your name.
I cannot hear you speaking to God this morning. Lord, I require mercy. Mercy for the journey of this week. Mercy for the rest of this month. Mercy for the journey of this year. Lord, let my life attract your mercy. Show me mercy. Lord, I pray for mercy. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Scriptures told us in Job chapter 1 that when the children of God came to appear, Satan also manifested in their midst. Why did he come in order to antagonize? I must tell you that God has a beautiful plan for you this year. But there are forces that want to antagonize you. Will you want to lift up your voice and say, Father, Father every power every that will want to antagonize my success this year, silence them now in the name of Jesus. Every power that will say no to my progress, to my breakthrough, Father, Lord, silence them. Be it in the spirit, in the physical. Every power that will say no to my progress, every power that will say no to my excellence, every power that will say no to my success, Lord, silence them. Lord, silence them. Lord, silence them. In the name of Jesus, silence them. Every power that will say no to the progress of my family. Every power that will say no to the progress of my children. Father, silence them. Lord, silence them. In Jesus' name, we pray. I'd like you to pray and lift up your voice and say, Father, Make me better than last year. In the name of Jesus. In every realm of my life. In all ramifications of life. Let me be better. Let me be better. Financially make me better. Spiritually make me better. Physically make me better. Health wise make me better. In the name of Jesus. Let it be well with me. Let this year be better than last year. Let this year be better than last year. Let this year be better than last year. Le kasha takata ya. Le prodo koto ya nelege de ya. Rabado do 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 koto ya. Let this year be better than last year. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Whether you agree or not, not everybody will make it this year. But I have made up my mind I'm going to make it. Say father, let me make it this year. Allow me to succeed this year. Let the heavenly forces support me to make it this year. Can you lift up your voice above your fellow? Can you shout it loud and let God hear you? Father, I want to make it this year. Let the forces of heaven help me. 
Let the power of heaven help me. Let me excel this year. Let me break through on every side this year. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In the league of Rosatalia. I want to stand out this year. I want to excel this year. I want to close on this year. Let the forces of heaven help me today. Help me this year. In Jesus' name we pray. They say ideas rules the world. That means whoever we want to rule must have idea. Father, give me a new idea this year. Idea of excellence. Hey, revelation of excellence. Lord, release to me this year. In the name of Jesus, I need the idea to excel. I need revelation to pray through. What do I need to do without struggling to excel, to be lifted? Father, show to me in my sleep, in my work. Lord, reveal to me what I need to do differently. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Bible said wisdom is the principal thing. He said, therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, he said, get understanding. When Joseph interpreted the dream in the land of Egypt, there were people that could not interpret the dream. In the first place, he defeated them by interpreting the dream. But if he had only stopped at the interpretation of the dream, he may not have been handsomely rewarded as he was. But he demonstrated wisdom by bringing out of the situation the solution that is required. And the Bible said by what he said, the land was preserved. And when he was talking to his brother, he said, you did not send me here. He said, but God sent me ahead to preserve posterity. My goodness. He said, God created me to fulfill this purpose. I'd like you to pray for yourself. Wisdom to stand out. Father, release to me this year. Wisdom. 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 In every of my undertaken. Is it my academics? Is it the ministry? Is it my word? Wisdom. to be who you are made me to be. Wisdom for excellence. Father, release to me. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. Wisdom for this year. Kayata, matayata. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, you will pray as a father. This year will not see my hand. I will not die this year. This year will not see my hand. Can you decree? Can you declare to yourself? I will live, I will not die. My wife will live, will not die. None of my children will die. This year will not mark our hand. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious thing. Jesus' name, we pray. Scripture says, O thou that hearest prayers, unto thee shall all flesh come. Mm -hmm. Father, we came because we know you are a miracle worker. We came because we know that whatever we ask you, we do for us. Everyone that has prayed this money, whether people in the auditorium or those on the virtual, Father, let this prayer be answered by fire. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. As we proceed in the service, let your name be glorified. Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let somebody say, bigger, amen. amen. Let me talk to your neighbor and say, you are welcome to church this morning. Welcome to church. You are welcome, sir. You are welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we please take our seat? The Lord bless you. This is the redeemed Christian Church of God, Israel Assembly, where people of we are a people of we are people of impeccable dynasty. We stand out in royalty because the grace of God speaks for us. And I pray for you that as you come today, the Lord will visit you in Jesus' name. Let's listen to the following announcement. Every Sunday, by the grace of God, we start a service at the dot of 9 a.m. with a Sunday school. Sunday school is an integral part of the Sunday service. It's a, it's a school. We call it a school. Where we are taught, and we're also privileged to ask questions, so it's very interactive. I employ us to come always, and that takes us into 10 a.m. when we start the Sunday worship, as we do right now. And we're trusting God that by 12 
or before 12. We should wrap up with the service. And the Lord will bless you as you commit to mind in Jesus' name. Usually every Thursday, we have a prayer meeting. A prayer meeting via our prayer line or the Zoom. That starts from 6.30 through 7 p.m. But there is going to be a slight change because of the annual fast that is starting tomorrow. Annual fast, the redeemed Christian Church of God annual fast starts tomorrow and it is just going for 63 days. Just 63 days. We have 365 days in the year and just 60 days. I think that is one sixth of um, the entire year that we want to go praying to God, asking God for, thanking God for what he has done, how we are able to say through 2020, and we are asking for the mercies of God over our, our life, and then we are going to be praying that this year will be a year with a great difference of success and excellence, and as we pray. God we hear us in Jesus' name. Amen. Therefore, because of this fasting, because when you fast and you don't pray, it is it starts almost to what? Hunger strike. So we don't want us to be like that. We'll be praying by the grace of God every evening. Every evening. And that will start by 6:30 p.m. on our prayer line. I believe that the prayer line will be displayed or before the service is how will be able to give us the prayer line for those of us that doesn't have them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So every day, starting from tomorrow, 6.30 p.m., we shall be having a prayer meeting. And God will bless you as you commit this to mind in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every Tuesday, by the grace of God, is our Bible study. A Bible study is a time to dig deep into the Word of God. When you come on a Sunday like this, we preach the word of God, you don't have time to ask questions, you don't have time to really interact, and you don't even have enough time to dwell on certain words. Why is this word chosen? Why this apostrophe? Why this comma? Why this full stop? But in the course of the Bible study, every Tuesday, we take it word by word. We look at what is the scripture saying here, spiritually, physically, how does it apply to our life, how does it relate to our day-to-day -day activity. As you come this Tuesday, I pray that the Lord will teach you and your life will not remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That starts at the dot of 7 p.m. and it's just for one and a half hours. So 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Tuesday, we're going to be here and as you come, God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Every third Saturday of the month, we dedicate it for special prayers, beginning from 7 a.m., usually on our Zoom. And it will still remain on the Zoom. Every third Saturday of the month, we have a prayer meeting, 7 a.m. And every last Friday of the month is our night vigil, every last Friday of the month. So this last Friday that is coming is going to be the first vigil of the year. And that starts at 10 p.m. Let's plan to attend. And as you do so, the Lord will bless and honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There remains any other announcement before the service is held. We shall be informed. God bless you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you know that for you to be alive, it's not because you have money or you are good. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, our Bible, our text for today shall be taken from the book of Ezra. Ezra 4, verse 1 to 4. The book of Ezra. Ezra 4, verse 1 to 4. Are we there? You should have there shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I read. Now, when the adversaries of Judah 
and Benjamin and that the children of the captivity builded the temple unto the Lord God of Israel. Then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God as he do and we do sacrifice unto him. Since the days of Isaiah, king of Asa, which brought us up either, but Zerubbabel and the Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us to build an house unto our God, but we ourselves together we build unto the Lord God of Israel as King Cyrus the king of Persia has commanded us, has commanded us. Last verse, which is verse 4. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in the building. Uh, I want to read the second text for today. That one shall be taken from the uh, first, first Samuel 2, verse 8. First Samuel 2, verse 8 only. I read. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dumb game, to set them among princes, and to make them in every the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the word upon them. May the Lord bless his reading in Jesus' name. Amen. And somebody shout hallelujah. Revelation 12, 11 says, and the testimony time. Testimony time. I know now uh, sitting down here is a testimony. So let's share our testimonies so that our brothers can be glad. One, that is number one. Another person. Number two, remember your numbers. Number three, Praise the Lord. numbers. I want up to minimum of five. I need two more. This is 2021. I'm not using 2020 star anymore. Two more, two more testifiers. You slept, you woke up this morning. It's a testimony. Two more, two more, two more. Okay, I take number four. One more. One more. Oh, yeah, you are singing in heaven. So, you should do a little task. Pass number five. Thank you so much, sir. Number one, can you come and share your testimony? Please remember your numbers. I don't even know whether I should sing or <laughs> That was just my testimony. Because my testimony is just what I would call amazing grace of God all the time. Because I always believe that each passing day, my life is a testimony. But I want to give this particular testimony because of what God did once again, in sequence to what uh, the testimony I gave last Sunday, when I did my practical exam for concrete test. This week, I took the written, written test. Is that, is that? And I want to bless the name of God because he's so faithful to me. He's so wonderful. He always demonstrates one thing. And that's what I want to be very grateful about. He always demonstrates his presence with me. When I was doing the exam, there were two questions that I know I do not know. You know the questions? But what I, I mean, sorry, the answers, I mean. <laughs> Thank you very much. But one thing I did, I just sat down and I waited for a second and I prayed. I said, Lord, let me pick the right answer. Teach me what to do to pick the right answer for those two questions. And by the name of the Holy Spirit, I picked the two answers. And to my greatest way, it's no surprise because my God is a God of miracles. So, in his usual manner, let me just say that. Because 
Miracle is, is natural to God. We call it supernatural, but as far as God is concerned, it's natural to God. So God did his own natural thing. And my time right now was check after coming out of exams. Right. Those answers were that I picked were spot on. And I want to bless the name of the Lord for answering my prayer. Because God always answers. And I came out beautifully well. So I want to bless the name of the Lord for what he has done for me. Now I have my first anticipation in America. Praise God. Uh, I just want to testify to the glory of God that um, God protected me from the fire. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On Friday, I was supposed to go for a vision. Somebody died, and so they were doing a week on that Friday night. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I said on Friday, I left the house, I was going for the wake keeping. Somebody died, and uh, the wake was Friday, and the burial was Saturday yesterday. And I used the gas, but for some reason, I turned it off. The flame went off, but it did not turn off the gas by itself. But the flame went off. Late at night, when I came back and I opened the door, the house was stinking with gas. But I just blessed the name of the Lord. That anything else would have happened, but God protected the house from fire, and I just give him praise. Praise the Lord. Is it me? Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. I was closing my eyes. You used to play little, that's why. That's why you're not in very numbers. <laughs> Even though I didn't feel it, it's working. Even though I didn't see it, it's working. You never stop. He never stop working. He never stop. He never stop working. Praise the Lord. I just want to bless the name of the Lord. Um, there was an emergency, an urgency concerning my finances. So at the first when we came, I remember some of the prayer points that Pastor raised. Before that time, too. You know, have been fasting, and then some other pastors from Nigeria will be fasting with some other prayer points. In fact, almost all the prayer points that pastor said that day was almost the same thing that other pastors to raised. So, the Spirit of God is one. So, I prayed that day because I'm in need, or I was in need of some emergency concerning money finances. And then, how God is going to do it? I don't know, because I haven't paid yet. And then I need to pay that bill first of that January. But when I got home, I just left everything to God because when I prayed here, I believe God has answered my prayer. So I went home, I slept. And suddenly a message came in. It was from my landlady. I read it because I was feeling sleepy. I just dropped it. I slept off again. Then I think after 30 minutes or 40 minutes, a message came in, notification. I looked at it, it was an email. And the world I opened it. it was, it's like I was sleeping and it broke my face. I looked at it. So what is this? I closed it. I went to my online mobile. I saw it. I just stood up for some money. <laughs> I just started speaking in tongues. I just started blasting. In fact, my daddy has to come and say, Kevin, you have never been shouting like this. What happened? I said, it's between me and God now. Don't worry, I will send the money where you should also do that. I started shouting. I started, you know, I was so happy praising God, worshiping him. For me, getting money for where I did not sow or eat. What? Even though I didn't see it, it's working. <laughs> Even though I didn't feel it, it's working. It never stopped, it never stopped working. It never stopped, it never stopped working. I just called my pastor immediately. In fact, in fact when I was talking to him, I was still speaking in tongues. I said, Pastor, this is what I saw. I saw six hundred dollars and I did not find tax. How did they know my account? 
Who gave them the information? Is it because I pray that my angel, because there was a prayer point that was raised by this man, um, prayer of something chapel, Pastor um, Oloporoku. I used to watch some of his programs when I was in Nigeria too. But he told us, he discussed about an angel that day. And he said, we are going to pray concerning our angel that we have not been sending our angels on errands. So that day, I now told, he said we should send our angel. I said, God, I don't have money. My angel, please go and look for my fire in this America. At least my name has been written. Honestly, just like that. I said, please, God, I just need your help. I need help. Let my angel start working for me and make way for me. Honestly, God did it. Amen. Any stimulus that is coming now, I'm among you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm number four, but Pastor, I'm going to take it to number four so that. Oh, I was number four. Oh, you have to stimulate it now. Oh, okay. Okay, come on. Come and see the restart. Come and see the restart before the pastor comes. Praise the Lord. Briefly, well, then, okay, I just remembered um, last two weeks I just um, got a new job, and the last two weeks I heard um, they were um, um, no, um, trying to make somebody an assistant manager. So the owner came and then met me. I didn't even know who was the owner when I talked, and then I poured him around his facility, you know. So he called the manager, and then he came, and then he now um, said he was asking for um, an assistant. You know, so they, they um, called people and then they were questioning people. Some people came around, some black Americans and all that. So when he was there, he now said he should call me. So the manager came and said, oh, that um, the owner wants to um, interview me for as per assistant um, manager. And I'm like, oh, wow. that I just started this job. And she was like, okay. And then they did. And then there were some other people that came. And then there's one um, certification they were asking for ALM. And I don't have. And then so when I talked with him, I said I don't have it. But I was like, can I go online and do it? And I said, yes, I'll do it. And then he's like, okay, no problem. So um, two weeks back, you know, the I said the manager came and said, okay, that um, the owner said he wanted me as the assistant. I'm like, oh wow. So you know, with the responsibility comes finances and all. I just want to bless God. <laughs> 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 Oh, no. 
faithfulness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, everlasting King, the God who is faithful, faithful, faithful forever. We just want to appreciate you for this second Sunday of the month of January 2021. Ah, Lord, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, everlasting to everlasting, you remain God, there is no one like you, there is none that can be compared unto you, <laughs> the uncreated creator, the unchangeable changer, the reason why we are standing here, Lord, we give you praise, thank you, faithful Lord, thank you, everlasting King, we have come, Lord, to hear from you, we have come to hear from you, the entrance of your word giveth life, it giveth life, <laughs> And understand even unto the simple, we approach your word with all simplicity this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we come by faith and we receive understanding in the mighty name of Jesus that this word will bring forth fruit even in our lives in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine, the teacher of all teachers, we invite you even in this meeting, even at this moment in the name of Jesus. I submit myself to you even this morning and I say, speak even through me in the mighty name, both the hearer and the speaker. At the end of this word, Father, it will be a blessing to each and every one of us. And that your name and your name alone shall be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's glorious to be in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. So this morning, we're going to continue with the text that God has given to us this year. So, this, and the word for us this year says, our year of uncommon, uncommon, ah, our year of uncommon, praise the Lord, God will help me, I forgot my glasses, I will see in Jesus' name, hallelujah, uncommon lifting, and this morning, God just laid a word in my heart, and the title of the word will be Uncommon Lifting, a look at the journey. Praise the Lord. Uncommon Lifting, a look at the journey. So I just want us to have a look at what is uncommon and what is lifting, by the way. Praise the Lord. Because if you miss certain understandings, uh, understanding of certain words or certain things, then there is a probability that you would miss the content of it. So when I looked at uncommon, it, it means something that ordinarily, ordinarily, it is just something that ordinarily is outstanding. Praise the Lord. Uncommon means ordinarily encountered. Praise the Lord. <laughs> So it's not something you go along the road, the road and you meet it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ordinarily, you don't just encounter it like that. So it means it's uncommon. Exceptionally, when something is exceptional, it's uncommon, praise the Lord. When something is abnormal, oh, abnormal, it means it's uncommon, praise the Lord. When something is extraordinary, <laughs> oh yes, it goes beyond the ordinary. Ordinary is the one that happens every day. Praise the Lord. But when it takes the extra part of it, it means it becomes uncommon. And God will help us. It will become very peculiar. <laughs> now when you see it, you know that this one is sought out. This one is set out. Praise the Lord. And that will be our portion this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Then when we talk about lifting, it is an act. Praise the Lord. Lifting it is an act of moving something from a lower to a higher level. Praise the Lord. From a lower position to a higher position. Praise the Lord. I don't know that position that you are there even at this moment. In whatever circumstance, God will lift you higher and God will lift me higher in the name of Jesus. And there is one thing about lifting, <laughs> that somebody's lower might be another person's higher. And somebody's higher might be another person's lower. Praise the Lord. So let this year, we are not going to equate ourselves with anybody's lifting. We are going to step into and we are going to receive our own lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Lifting can be experienced under different states. Praise the Lord. Lifting can be experienced under different states. Number one, I just have maybe three of them today. We are going to look at them. We're going to look at them. We have three. We're going to look at them. Number one says, <laughs> one that had never been on top or high and therefore is trusting God for a lifting. You've never ever been on top. This message today is for us to do a searching. Praise the Lord. Look at that area in your life. You have never ever ever experienced a lifting. But you want to be on top. Then that one qualifies for a lifting. Praise the Lord. That area in your life that you have never ever experienced a lifting before. Praise the Lord. For example, in John chapter 9 from verse 1 to 12. John chapter 9, John chapter 9 from verse 1 to 12. It tells us about the man that was born blind. <laughs> the man that was born blind has never ever experienced sight. The day he was born, he was born blind. And therefore in his life, he's crying to God that God, I want a lifting in this area. I want to see. Praise the Lord. I want to see because why? <laughs> I've been low there, I've been blind. Praise the Lord. Therefore, that man in his life, he is wanting, he's praying to God and trusting God for a lifting in terms of sight. Praise the Lord. What about the situation in Acts chapter 3? Acts chapter 3 verse 1 to 9. Acts chapter 3 verse 1 to 9. Yes, this one he could see, but he was born lame. Praise the Lord. And therefore, sight is not his situation. <laughs> yes, he has eyes, but he cannot walk. He was born lame. Therefore, in his own life, he's trusting God for a lifting. Praise the Lord. So I don't know that area in your life, <laughs> but I know mine. <laughs> that I'm trusting God. That God, in this situation in my life, I have never experienced a lifting in it. And therefore, I just don't want a lifting. I want an uncommon lifting. Mm. So shall it be for me in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know about you. The second situation is that yes, along the line you had experienced a lifting. But something happened. Something happened and you lost it. You have experienced a lifting somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Yes, so you understand it, how it is to be lifted. But some conditions happen. For example, the life of Mephibosheth. In 2 Samuel chapter 4, verse 4. 2 Samuel chapter 4, verse 4 talks about Mephibosheth. But Mephibosheth was never born lame. <laughs> you were conditions. At five years, Mephibosheth definitely would have been walking. But something happens in the life of Mephibosheth. When situations in his environment turned around, when his nurse was trying to rescue him, they fell, and that is how he became lame. And therefore, for Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth is not saying, God, I'm praying that you should lift me. No, no, no. He's praying that, God, you are the one that gave me lifting before. You gave me legs to walk before. But today, I am unable to walk. Cause me to enjoy that lifting again in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Maybe you are that one that, oh yeah, when they talked about fasting, you could fast. But uh, for a little while now, it's been a strange thing to you. <laughs> that should be your prayer. Now, Father Lord, I know you, you had experienced, you had helped me to enjoy your grace. Or maybe you had heard God before. But it's taken a little while and you're unable to hear God. And that should be an area that you should be crying in your life and say, God, I want to. Let me experience a lifting. Remember, we're talking about the lifting here, right? Because it's only when you are lifted that you can enjoy an uncommon lifting. Praise the Lord. It means you can differentiate between lifting and an uncommon lifting. And God will help us to be able to distinguish them in the mighty name of Jesus. What about the children of Israel? They were sought out. They had enjoyed the manna, the power of God. They had seen it time after time after time after time. But there came a time in their lives because of sin. Because of sin, it separated them away from God. And what happened? They became slaves. They became vagabonds. They became desolate. They became uh, uh, 
wasteland. Scripture says they were a wasteland. Jeremiah 25. Jeremiah 25 verse 11 and 12. For 70 years. 70 years. <laughs> so time is not a problem. Time is not a reason why you or I should remain in that situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. They stayed there for 70 years. Therefore, they also needed a lifting at that point. Praise the Lord. So we have talked about two situations now. Number one situation is that you have never experienced a lifting. And you are trusting God for a lifting. Number two situation, you had experienced a lifting before. But for some reason, you have missed it. God will help us to get back into that point of lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. And the third situation which we are going to talk about today is that you are already enjoying a lifting. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You are already enjoying a, a lifting. You find yourself in a situation where you are already enjoying a lifting. <laughs> but remember that <laughs> what does 2 Corinthians uh, Genesis chapter 26 let's start from Genesis chapter 26 from verse 12 to verse 16. Genesis chapter 26 from verse 12 to verse 16. He's telling us the situation of Isaac. He said that something happened in the life of Isaac. Isaac grew. Praise the Lord. That is one level of lifting, right? Isaac grew. And he just did not stay there. Scripture says what? He went forward. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He just did not go forward. He said he grew again and became great. And he became great to a point... Scripture says he became very great. <laughs> that is an uncommon lifting. He became very great. Not to a level of man. That a whole nation could envy him. Praise the Lord. A whole nation could envy him. Because of the greatness of God in his life. Because of the lifting, uncommon lifting of God in his life. Praise the Lord. Let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. It's going to tell us that there is no limit in the way God can lift us in no matter the area of our lives. 2 Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. It says. But we all with open faces behold as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image hmm. from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Praise the Lord. From glory to glory tells us there is no limitation of our uncommon lifting. So I don't know where you are. In terms of lifting, praise the Lord. I don't know the level at which you have been lifted up. <laughs> this year, it is our year of uncommon lifting. Amen. Therefore, God has the ability to take us from that level of glory where we are to another level of glory, praise the Lord. Amen. To another level of glory, hallelujah. <laughs> to another level of glory. Amen. To another level of glory. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that don't be comfortable where you are. <laughs> God says it is our year of uncommon lifting. Yeah. Therefore, you have, ne you have not yet got to the level. Mm -hmm. You have not yet attained that level. Stare up yourself and say, yes, you know what? I need to go higher. Yes. I need to go higher. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Remember here, he's talking about glory from one level to another. He's not talking only about physical glory. He's talking about physical glory. He's talking about financial glory. He's talking about marital glory. He's talking about spiritual glory. So this glory is not limited. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> when any man experiences any manner of lifting and it comes in such a way that you distinguish yourself from the environments that you find yourself then it becomes uncommon praise the lord i am just going to share one testimony about somebody in this country the person applied for a particular type of visa and 
through that visa, it's always been like, it takes between six to eight months, praise the Lord, before you will get a response regarding that visa. So when this person applied for that visa, the person was also waiting and trusting that, you know what, huh, let me see, six months, or between six to eight months, praise the Lord, just as people have said. But to the glory of God, that person's documents came back four weeks after. That person's approval came back four weeks after. What are we talking about? That is uncommon lifting. That is uncommon lifting. <laughs> it has never happened, but God did it for that person. I am praying for somebody's documents. Somebody stay even in this land. <laughs> that I don't care how many years it is taken other people. <laughs> you will experience uncommon lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. I step into the into the, the, the feet of that person's testimony and I begin to prophesy concerning your documents that your documents will receive lifting and uncommon lifting in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Like a journey, uncommon lifting is a process. Praise the Lord. It's a process. Anybody that wants to run a thousand, uh, uh, one thousand meters race, that person has to start from one meter. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you just can't wake up from your bed and say, you know what, I want to run one thousand meters. Praise the Lord. You have to start gradually. So when we talk about uncommon lifting, <laughs> you must have experienced lifting first to you, for you to experience uncommon lifting. Praise the Lord. So it is a process. That takes both the external and it also takes the internal environment. Praise the Lord. Let's take the example of Acts of the Apostles chapter 3 verse 1 to 9. Acts of the Apostles chapter 3 verse 1 to 9. It is telling us about the blind man, who was, the lame man who was at the gate called Beautiful. Praise the Lord. By the time Peter and his group approached this man at that gate... <laughs> There were two things that man was ex that man was expecting only arms. Praise the Lord. The man was only expecting arms. But for that man to experience that uncommon lifting, the man had to cooperate. Praise the Lord. The man had to cooperate with Peter for him to enjoy the uncommon lifting. That is where the external and the internal comes to play. Because when Peter stretched out his hand to lift up the man, the man had two options. Whether to go ahead with Peter and stand up or to refuse and say, you know what? I am going to stay here. I like this place. I want only money. What does that translate into your life and into my life? That we have a part to play in this uncommon lifting for these things to happen in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We have a part to play. So remind yourself that I have a part to play. Okay, so that is our first point that I have for me to enjoy uncommon lifting this year. Uncommon lifting, my first thing that I have to do is to tell myself that Mary, you have a part to play for you to enjoy uncommon lifting. Praise the Lord. What is that part that I have to play first? I have to have a desire. Praise the Lord. I have to have a desire. If that man never ever desired to walk, he would not enjoy walking. So the first thing is, for you to experience uncommon lifting, your first part is to have a desire to experience that lifting. Praise the Lord. If you want to have uncommon lifting in your prayer life, you must first have the desire to start praying. Praise the Lord. Before you start enjoying the uncommon lifting. If you want to have uncommon lifting in your Bible study life, you must first develop that desire to start studying the word. Praise the Lord. Then you will be able to start. God will put his own internal force there for you to be able to enjoy that. My prayer is that we will all be able to key in into that desire. What is a desire? A desire is a word. A desire is a prophecy. <laughs> that prophecy has been released in the air. What you are doing with that prophecy will determine your outcome. Praise the Lord. If the prophecy is just flying in the air, oh yes, it is our year of uncommon lifting. 
and you're joking around with this and you're not keying into that world in any way that possible, then you will never experience it. Praise the Lord. Ezra chapter 1 verse 3. Ezra chapter 1 verse 3. <laughs> the word of God is part of our text. Ezra chapter, yes, Ezra chapter 1. Sorry, it wasn't our text today. Ezra chapter 1 verse 3. It says, It says that who is there among you in his people, his God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judea, and build the house of the Lord God of Israel, which is in Jerusalem. So this is a prophecy that was released. But what does it say there? He said, whosoever wants to go, will go. Praise the Lord. <laughs> it's a whosoever issue. It is a whosoever. So when the prophecy has been released, whosoever grabs it and runs with it, it's the person that will see the prophecy manifest in the person's life. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Another thing, Romans chapter 10 verse, uh, verse 13. Romans 10 13. <laughs> it talks about salvation, right? Salvation is not for one person. For somebody to be saved, the person must first of all purpose in their heart that I want to be saved. Praise the Lord. Then the person will take the step for that person to be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13. Salvation is for everyone. <laughs> is it everyone that is saved? No. The salvation is for everyone. For whosoever whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It is whosoever. But if nobody calls the name of the Lord, that person will not be saved. Praise the Lord. So you must have that desire in your heart and then you must take a step that lines up with that word or that desire because a desire is always a word. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. What is the second thing that we have to do? We have to be ready to hold it to the end. Oh yes, just having a desire is not enough. Praise the Lord. So if your plan is like, oh no, you know, Sister Mary, I already have a desire. <laughs> There's one more step you need to go. And that step is that you must be ready to hold on to the word to the end. Yes, the word says it is our year of uncommon lifting. Yes, but you should be ready to hold it right to the end. Luke chapter 9 verse 62. Luke chapter 9 verse 62. It is reminding us <laughs> as Christians that we have put our hands on the plow. <laughs> that anyone that turns to look behind them, oh no, that one is no longer among the group. You are like treated like a castaway. He said, and Jesus said unto him, no man having put his hand on the plow. The plow is the word. The plow is that destiny word for you. As you have held that word, don't waver. That is what he's saying. Hold on to it. Don't look back. Stay focused. Even on to that word. And that is the only way that you will get to the end of it. And so shall it be for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So the first one, have a desire. Run with that word. The second one, be ready to hold that word to the end. Praise the Lord. Amen. The third one, trust God no matter what. Trust God. God no matter what hallelujah trust God no matter the situation no matter the circumstance no matter what is coming your way continue to trust God Psalm 25 verse 1 to 4 Psalm 25 verse 1 to 4 is a cry of David he said unto thee O Lord O Lord I give my life to you I trust in you God do not let me be disgraced. Hallelujah. Oh, let my enemies rejoice in my defeat. He said, no one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced. And so shall it be for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. But disgrace comes to those who try to deceive others. Praise the Lord. Amen. Trust God. Trust God. No matter what. Those that trust, that's what that scripture is telling us. That nobody that trusts in the Lord shall ever be disgraced. We will not be disgraced this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Job is a critical example of trust. 
Why? The closest person to Job, the wife, when adversities came, he said, cursing, just cursing, cursing, just curse God. Re denounce him, deny him. Oh, he says it's God that can answer, just deny him, praise the Lord. Job had options. The wife said, curse him and die. The friends came with accusations against him, praise the Lord. The boils that were on him were even so much, praise the Lord. But Job trusted. Job chapter 13 verse 15. Job chapter 13 verse 15. He said, though he slay me, I will yet praise him. Though he slay me, I will yet praise him. What does that mean? I still trust you even when things don't look like. I still trust you even when things don't seem as if this is the way they should be. So he refused to give up. He says, though he slay me, yet I will trust him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. I will not compromise. Because those compromised situations are definitely going to come this year. If you think they will not, you're fooling yourself. They will certainly come. Praise the Lord. Which number is that? Number three, right? Number three. Praise the Lord. Number four. Expect opposition. Expect opposition to arise. Expect opposition to arise. Hallelujah. We all, I'm sure each and every one of us, none of us here except those children that were born in this country, we definitely flew before we came into this country. Praise the Lord. So the plane, for the plane to take off, it must generate a force which will counteract the force of the wind that is stopping you before it can lift up. It must be against the wind. It must definitely be stronger than the force of the environment around it for it to break through. Praise the Lord. That is opposition. Hallelujah. So if we are talking about an uncommon lifting, what are we talking about? A greater force. Hmm. We must have that greater force above the opposition. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Above the opposition. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ezra chapter 4, which is our text. Ezra chapter 4 verse 1 and 2 tells us the situation of the children of Israel. <laughs> when the, the, the enemy came, the opposition came to attack them. The only thing that rescued them was the words that they knew. Praise the Lord. <laughs> was only the word. Therefore, that is a, a, a clue to us. That for us to overcome opposition this year, for us to overcome adversity this year, we must be partners with the word. Praise the Lord. We must be partners with the word. John chapter 1 from verse 1, 2, and 3. It tells us who the word is. The word is Christ. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word is God. We must be in partner with the word for us to be able to overcome this opposition. Hallelujah. That was the word that Zerubbabel used in our text to overcome the enemy and say, enemy, <laughs> yes, I know you think you have the same cause with us. Yes, I know you think you have the same strength, but there is something I want to tell you. That this word concerning rebuilding this temple was not given to you. It is my word. Another clue there, go wrong with another person's word. Praise the Lord. You are, you are running a defeated battle. <laughs> Look in the word that has been given. It is my year of Uncommon lifting. Why do you want uncommon lifting? <laughs> if your eyes are not blind, please don't pray for uncommon lifting in your eyes. It means you are running an unfruitful battle. Praise the Lord. Look within that word. Grab that part which is your own and run with it. And God shall answer us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We expect us opposition. Second Kings chapter one. Second Kings chapter one from verse one to seven. It tells us the, the, the story of Elisha and Elijah. <laughs> Elijah was running his own race. Elisha was running his own race. Both of them were going in the same direction, but their purposes were different. The liftings were completely different. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are in the same sanctuary, people. Please don't run my race. We are, we, we might, we are here, we are hearing this same word. But I believe the Holy Spirit is ministering to us as individuals. Because we have individual races. Praise the Lord. <laughs> the, the sons of the prophets said something to Elisha. Do you know that your master is 
is being going is, is going to be taken away from you today. So what does that mean? It was the same word that Elisha was going to be taken away. That El, that Elijah was going to be taken away. Sorry, that Elisha heard. That the sons of the prophets heard at each point. Are we together? They had the same word. They had the same word. But what did they do with their own words? They only kept on repeating it. They only kept on repeating it. But somebody <laughs> saw it as an opportunity to key in so that he could also experience an uncommon lifting. And that was why Elisha experienced the uncommon lifting. Because he sought out the word as a personal word for him. Praise the Lord. And that will be our portion this year in the mighty name of Jesus. That will be our portion this year in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Number five, delay is not denial. Mm -hmm. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. <laughs> Write that vision down. <laughs> Write it. I don't understand. Your own vision is that part that you want to trust God for common listening. Write it down so that you'll be seeing it and seeing it and reminding yourself when the opposition comes, <laughs> you say, I will yet trust him. I am holding God for this word. I know it is my own. I know it is my own. And therefore, delay or denial, it, de delay is not denial. Praise the Lord. We read it in our text, e e Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 4. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 4. There was, their, their work was put at the hold. <laughs> it was a hold. They put it only at the hold. They did not say, even if they said this work must stop, they did not terminate it. Because it is only God that can kill. It is only him that can make a life. Hallelujah. Only God has the final say. Man will say something in between. Situations will say things in between. Ha ha ha. But the person that will say it, that yes, this is the end of it. It's only God. Hallelujah. But even when God says it is the end of it, I'm saying it because I just haven't ministered in my spirit. Even God, when God says this is the end of it, when we cry to him, Hezekiah did that. God had put an end. <laughs> the Almighty said, Hezekiah, put your house in order. So God himself can still, in his own infinite decision, even though he has said this is the end, he has, can still turn around. Luke chapter 18, Holy Spirit, thank you. Luke chapter 18 tells us about the same thing, I think verse 8 or verse 9. That woman was persistent. <laughs> Jesus was asking them, that when I come back to my very elect, shall I find faith? Even when it seems as if God is not answering, shall he find faith in us? God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Delay is not denial. So we have to hold on to it. We will not be frustrated. No matter what it looks, discouragement will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Frustration will not be our portion. A standstill doesn't mean that God is not working. All what we need to do is stand on the word, hold on to the word in faith, and so shall it be to us in the mighty name of Jesus. That was point number five. Point number six, therefore, huh? how can I hold this word? How can I hold it in faith? Speak the word. Hallelujah. Speak the word that triggers the journey. <laughs> hey, speak the word that triggers the journey. Hallelujah. The word this year, the word that triggered that journey, you are in a journey. I need upliftment, uncommon lifting concerning situation A. There is a word to it, right? Oh, speak that word. There is a word that triggered it. Speak the word that triggered that particular journey. Hallelujah. Speak that word. Isaiah 55. Verse 10 to 11. That is the confidence that I have in that word. That is the confidence that I have that you know what? As I continue to speak this word, it will certainly come to pass. Because God says it. That his word will not return to him void. And because I am standing on his word, I know my case will not be different. Praise the Lord. It might only tarry, but it will not come to an end. It must come to manifestation in the name of Jesus. Why? Because the word of God is spirit and the word of God is life. Hallelujah. The word of God is not a dead word. It is a lively word. John chapter 6 verse 63. The word of God is spirit and therefore it can penetrate that my situation. And you will be able to turn it around. Hallelujah. Why again do I have to hold this word? 
Hallelujah. I said the word of God is spirit. And as a child of God, I'm a carrier of the spirit of God. And if I am a carrier of the spirit of God, and if God speaks and it happens, therefore the spirit of God that is knitted in my spirit has that potency, has that power to also manifest power. Praise the Lord. Psalm 33 verse 9. He says when God speaks it, it comes to pass. And because I am also a God. He said, the Bible reminds us uh, that ye are gods. And therefore, if I step into that godly shoe, I stand on it and I stand upon the anointing of God and I speak it, I believe that it will come to pass in my situation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, what do I have to do last? I have to be expectant. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I have to be expectant. I have to be expectant. Because if you don't expect results, that is the end. If you don't have an end point that you're expecting, any woman that is pregnant and is not expecting a baby is not pregnant. Praise the Lord. Any woman that gets pregnant and she says, I am pregnant, and she's not expecting a baby, that woman is not pregnant. The result is that baby that comes forth, whether it's male, whether it's female, whether it's twin. That woman must be expectant of a baby. Praise the Lord. Be expectant of that result. Be expectant. See the end. See the end. See the end. See the end. <laughs> there is light at the end of the tunnel, says the Englishman. So see the end. <laughs> David said in Psalm 23, he said, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. I fear no evil. Why? Thou I will. <laughs> he, he has an expectation. Hallelujah. He has an expectation. Even it is in the valley, even if it's in the, in, in the, the top of the mountain, his expectation is what is keeping him to go. Hallelujah. Amen. I have an expectation this year. Hallelujah. My expectation will not be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Scripture tells us, uh, Ze 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 Zechariah chapter 4 verse 9, <laughs> the hands of Zerubbabel started it. <laughs> the hands of Zerubbabel will finish it. <laughs> the hands of Mary has started this project. <laughs> the hands of Mary will finish it. <laughs> I am expecting that man will come through in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because I know. Ezra chapter 7 verse 9 and verse 10. I know something happens. Ezra chapter 7 verse 9 and verse 10. Hallelujah. Amen. Ezra 7 verse 9 says He said, for the gracious He said, for the gracious hand of He said, he had arranged to leave Babylon on April the 8th, the first day of the new year. And he arrives Jerusalem. Hallelujah. He started it. He finished it. He arrived Jerusalem on August the 4th. For the gracious hand of God was with him. Ha. This was because Ezra had determined. Had determined to study and obey. Had determined to study and obey. Had determined to study and obey the law of the Lord and to teach it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no way you can soak yourself in the word of God. By studying it, by obeying it, relating to that particular situation. Hallelujah. Everything, every, every day I look at scripture, I am so amazed. Why? Because I come in contact with certain things that I never knew were ever, ever recorded in scripture. And so there is everything. There is no situation on this planet Earth that is not already here. It has been recorded here for our own use. Praise the Lord. And by the help of the Holy Spirit, this year, my eyes, God, the Holy Spirit will help my eyes to come in contact with that word that is related to me. So that I can hold it, so that God can help lift me up to the expectation and manifestation of his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I just triggered somebody even this morning. I just want us to rise up on our feet even this morning. I don't know where you fall. 
Ah, is there is there an area in your life that Lord has never ever experienced a lifting in this area in my life? And therefore, I want to present it before you because this year of uncommon lifting, I don't want this part of my life to be to be redundant. <laughs> hey, yes, the, the, the main man at the beautiful girl will say, you know what? I'm, 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 I can see. Yes, I am lame, but I can see. No, 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 no. Hey, God, I'm talking about this area in my life. Has never, ever, it has never, ever experienced a lifting. Or is there another area that had experienced a lifting before? But now the thing has gone down. Now you want to go back to the Lord and say, Father, even this one too, I know I want to thank you because this one, it had experienced a lifting before, but now it is down. <laughs> oh Lord, I, I, need a, I, need a, I need an uncommon lifting there in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, it is that area that you are comfortable. <laughs> but like scripture told us in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18, that, that from one level of glory to another, that you want to go before the Lord and say, Father, this year, this year, this area, I thank you for this level of glory. <laughs> I thank you for this level of glory. <laughs> but I know that there is no glory that can be compared to the glory of the Lord. And I am nowhere closer to it. Just nowhere. I need a lifting. An uncommon lifting that will sort me out. That will make me exceptional. That will portray your greatness and your mightiness. Even in my life. This year, this year. And Lord, please, 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 please. I want it to start now. I want it to start now. I don't want it to be the end. I don't want to start talking about uncommon lifting on the 30th of December 2021. No, no, no. From this moment, from this moment, answer me speedily. Answer me speedily. Answer me speedily. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I can in the mighty name of Jesus or oh, is your own situation like I have been going to church every day but you know what Father I want to experience an uncommon lift I hear you speak to people I hear you speak to people Lord let that one be my uncommon lifting let that one be my uncommon lifting. I want to hear you too expressly. Ah, people will say, ah, this is what the Holy Spirit is saying. This is how God has ministered it to me. Hey, I want to have that type of encounter. If it is your own, just cry it unto the Lord. Uncommon lifting in my spiritual ears. Open my ears of understanding. I want to hear you too this year. Open my ears. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Lord. Thank you, unchangeable changer. Thank you, the bright and the morning star. Thank you, the one whose hands are never ever shut. You're the only one that will lift up and no one will bring down. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We exalt your name. We magnify you. Hey, if man lifts up, another man can bring down. But only you can lift. Only you can lift and it stays permanent. Father, in this year of uncommon lifting, Father, we are crying unto you, Lord, that you will lift us up in every area of our lives so that we can show forth your greater glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your word, Lord. It would not go, it would not return to you void. But we give you praise because it will accomplish the purpose of which you have sent it to us even today. And to you alone be glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's uh, still be asked to pray for our minister. That the Lord will anoint her more. Let your as mama, and the Lord will reveal you in the name of Jesus. You will not fail God. The anointing will not run dry. The Lord will sustain her. The Lord will uphold her. She will continue to be a vessel in the hand of God. Honorable vessel. Not just a vessel, but an honorable one. Let's pray for her. And the Lord will sustain her. She will not rage, she will not fall. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Yeah. Offering time. Offering time. Yes. Yes.
Where is why are we cold now? Because we are saying no. Offering time. Yes, yes, yes. This is what God wants. Hallelujah.
raise your voice and can you please rise up and help you? of God. I want us to pray for them. Whatever the desire of their heart may be, because you came today, let heaven deliver to you in the name of Jesus. You will not be put to shame. This year, glory, virtue, hand of God will be evident upon your life. Men will know indeed that you encounter God here. By the reason of the grace upon this assembly, in this year, you will enjoy uncommon lifting. Wherever you have hoped and you have expected and it seems you are waiting forever, I decree an head come to delay in the name of Jesus. New doors are opening. Grace is being released upon you. You will begin to flourish and manifest in the capacity that God has given to you. In the name of Jesus, we will rejoice with you. In the name of Jesus, I bless you divine. The hand of God, as according to your name, will be upon your life. You will fulfill destiny. You will fulfill the castle of God. Your destiny will not be truncated. Among equals, God will lift up your head. You will stand out and you will serve the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, 
We pray. Amen. God bless you, sir. You can please take your seat. Immediately after the service, Sister Mary will come around and then uh, will meet with us. And then uh, we'll pray with you and God will bless you. Amen. And I know that you must wait to see me, sir. Mama. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us not forget that um, our fasting begins tomorrow and it's going for 63 days only. Just is the three days only. We have 365, and then it's not even for 65 days, just is the three days. Some people are shaking their head. There are some people, they are not fasting, and they don't even eat on the two, on the three. So what difference does it make? Praise the Lord. It's only when you say that you are fasting that that hunger will start to come. Or you will rebuild that hunger in the name of Jesus. Every 5 a.m., our prayer line will be open. Whoever wants to join me from 5 to 5.30, you are free. I'm not making it a compulsion. You want to sleep, Abby? Praise God. But for the 63 days, by the grace of God, the prayer line. Can you please display the prayer line? For that 63 days, starting from tomorrow, every 5 a.m. I will be on the prayer line praying. For the 63 days by the grace of God. So if you have the privilege and you want to join, you can join. It's not compulsory. If you want to sleep like some people that I know love to sleep, God will bless you. But in the evening, we will also come back on the prayer line by 6.30. And that one is sacrosanct. That one is a must. That one is compulsory. 6.30 to 7.00. Now, why I am doing that is so that at least by the time you are fasted, you know we have analyzed it before that you are fasting when you eat this night and you wait till 6 p.m. before you eat the following day. What hours is that? That is like 18 hours that you are fasted. So if you fasted for 18 hours and you can't pray for one hour, it's not worth it. So it's just going to be 30 minutes in the morning. 30 minutes in the evening. I am not an angel hider, okay? I am also going to discipline myself to beat up that time. And then, because this year we must have results. Amen. Era of story is past. Amen. We must have a living proof. Why are we serving God? We must show it. People must see the grace and the hand of God upon us in the name of Jesus. I will help you to celebrate in this place. When you are sharing your testimony, I will be dancing. You know, I told you in the beginning of the year that redeem presented to God only permits all the ministers to wear that one day in the year. That is the first Sunday. And last Sunday you saw me in the Abada. But there are going to be situations that will make me wear Abada this year. Because when I am coming for a special dedication of set of twins, I'm coming for a dedication of triplets, I'm coming for a dedication of a new house, I'm coming for a dedication of 2022 cars, then I'm coming for a dedication of marriage. Uh, I'm going to beg God. And if I need to beg our guys, uh, let me just wear this. One more time. <laughs> uh, praise the Lord. Amen. So there may be many days that I'm going to wear our brother. But that's what the Kaba don't wear our brother next Sunday. <laughs> no, Baba can put on our brother and say, Pastor, you say we have celebration. <laughs> we have celebration, praise the Lord. So when we want to wear it, we announce it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Can we please rise up on our feet? We finish our service by joy by the grace of God and God has been helping us. So let's just say, Father, we thank you for what you have done today. Thank you for the word. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. We are so grateful. Thank you. It's a beautiful thing. We came into your presence. You ministered to us. We can never remain the same. There will be lifting every side. We will be returning with testimonies. Joy will be unlimited in this place. Thank you, our Father. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Stand in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
And I decree and declare upon your life that as you go this way, heaven will open doors before you. You will not stumble. You will not fail. I am decreeing into your life and that lifted great people of old will lift you to this season. In the name of Jesus. Every hand of impossibility over your life is broken. Amen. Every power of never will you progress is destroyed. Amen. And I decree every force that has been in pursuit of your destiny that says you will not live to enjoy the good of the Lord, particularly this year, heaven will sacrifice them for you. In this week, you will be favored. This week, you will be lifted. This week you will be helped Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree that our joy this week will be unlimited. Amen. People will go out of their way to help us in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. And when we return, it shall be with testimony. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will not die. Amen. I decree you will not die. Amen. You will not die. Amen. You will not be sick. Amen. You will not be hospitalized. Amen. Your money will not be wasted. Amen. Your time will not be wasted. Amen. Your resources will not be wasted. Amen. But we will serve the Lord together. Amen. We will enjoy the best of God this year. Amen. That testimony we waited for will come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let everyone begin to prepare it for you Amen. now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And when the miracle will come, you will not be missing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We give you praise and honor. Jesus' name we decree. Can we share the grace together? With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. The Lord bless you.